rankings versus ratings. There are some national affiliations that talk about ratings when in essence, what they're really talking about are rankings, but they're labeling them ratings. There is a difference between rankings and ratings. When you're dealing with rankings, you're dealing with order. You give something a value that is relative to an order and you use ordinal numbers like first, second, third. Those are ordinal numbers. I know some of you will learn that when, when you were in elementary school. Rankings have to do with order and valuing something in an order of its peers, of things that are similar. This is the best or the first. This is the second best. This is the third all the way down. If you want to take a top 10 or a top 25, you can say these are the top 25 in order of this larger group. Ratings, on the other hand, give value based on a standard. Everything, by the way, in there could be a high standard, could be rated highly. Uh, if you want to say that uh, a team's offense and defense combined on a scale of 0 to 10, here's 10, you could have more than one team to be a 10. It's tough to have more than one team to be the best, to be number one, to be ranked at the top, but you could have three or four teams to be ranked or rated as a 10. You could have five or six teams to be rated as a nine according to certain standards. So that's the value there. Your value is given according to a standard. And by the way, that's using cardinal numbers. And you may have learned that again in elementary schools. 